the lord is cleansing you right now as you sing together worship god the lord is purifying each and every one of you do not worry he is here now he is in your home his presence is there wherever you are and he is consoling and he is delivering you right now he is touching each and every one of you he will never disappoint you he is cleansing you right now thirst for his anointing thirst for his blessing thirst for his touch he will never abandon you we were reflecting about pride these days yesterday from yesterday and we will continue reflecting the effect of the pride the different uh, different styles the uh, types of the pride that is affecting us and we need to get rid of this spirit of pride we yesterday heard god hates the sin of pride god hates it we need to get rid of it we read like this in ezekiel chapter 16 was 49 onwards ezekiel chapter 16 was 49 onwards we all know about sodom and gomorrah we all know that there was a natural relationship in sodom and gomorrah sexual perversion that was the main sin of sodom and sodom and gomorrah that is what we were always thinking always aware of but in fact what was the root cause for that sexual perversion what was the root cause of sexual perversion that happened in sodom and gomorrah the word of god says this was the guilt of your sister sodom this was the guilt of your sister sodom this was the real guilt of the sister sodom in the land of sodom she and her daughters that means the place and the people who lived there had pride excess of food and prosperous ease but did not aid the poor and needy and then was 50 we read like this was 50 they were haughty and did abominable things before me therefore i removed them when i saw it they were haughty pride was there did abominable things that is the sexual perversion abominable things means the sexual perversion which he is ref- the word of god referring to and then it, that place was, was removed and destroyed because of these abominable things now what was the reason for the abominable things what was the reason for the perverted sexual perversion the reason was there was 49 we read like this because there was pride they had pride an excess of food too much of eating too much of food prosperous ease but did not aid the poor did not take care of the poor people did not help the needy and that is why the sodom and gomorrah entered into the sexual perversions all kinds of dirty sinful life my dear brothers and sisters all those who have pride excess of food and prosperity there is a possibility if we don't repent and if we don't try to help the poor people those who are needy if you have not charitable and caring for those poor people who are suffering then there is a possibility we may fall into the sexual perversions we may fall into the sin of uh, lust and all these kinds of fleshly sins just like sodom and gomorrah did therefore pride is the beginning of the lust yesterday we said the pride as a result of pride the next sin that is going to affect is lust if there is pride which is not controlled the next moment we will enter into the lust and this is exactly what is written in this bible passage and therefore let us beg for pardon and forgiveness and say lord i'm sorry for all this pride which i entertained because of this pride and prosperity excess of food and all these things i never cared for the poor and needy i was just criticizing everyone i'm sorry lord forgive me wash me with your precious blood cleanse me with your precious blood let's sing together asking god to ten- take control of each and every one of us let's cry out to god and say lord i'm sorry forgive me right now lord wash me with your precious blood cleanse me with your precious blood let the precious blood of jesus be sprinkled upon each and every one of us let all of us be able to be humble in the presence of god let's pray and worship god he is blessing you right now he is touching you right now thank you father Thank you for blessing all these people of God right now. Thank you for healing everybody now. Thank you Jesus. Abba have mercy on all of them. Abba have mercy on everyone who is broken, wounded, rejected. Abba have mercy on every child of God who is in need of you Lord. Have mercy on every child. Let them all be set free in Jesus name. We thank you Abba Father. We praise you Abba Father. We glorify you. somebody who has got burning on your burning sensation on your fingers and between the fingers and there is infection on your uh, hands the lord is healing you right now somebody who has got some kind of a small growth in your throat the lord is healing you completely and is delivering you right now ask the holy spirit to come and take control 
the lord is blessing a family who is who has decided to forgive your neighbor who was who was demanding and encroaching some of your land properties and you are decided to sacrifice and be reconciled with your neighbor the lord is so happy with what you are decided and is going to bless you mightily the lord is also blessing a person who has got backbone and hole in the backbone the lord is healing you right now let's call the name of jesus repeat the name of jesus thank you lord Jesus. The Lord is touching and cleansing many people and helping you to be humble. The Lord is making you realize your own pride and all the different types of pride that is affecting you. The Lord is making you aware of. And today, yesterday we were reflecting about different types of pride, how it is manifested in our behavior. And today, let us reflect, continue to reflect different types of pride. It affects us. Another type of pride that affects us, the pride of independence. a kind of attitude that i don't need anyone and they don't such people they don't discuss it any with anyone i have seen many people they don't even discuss anything that happens at home they don't discuss with their own life partner has certain husbands they don't discuss it with the wife wife doesn't discuss with the husband and when we ask i remember one day one husband and came and said i don't discuss anything with my wife i said that's not a good good thing you have to discuss then she he said father there is no meaning in discussing with her she does she doesn't understand anything she her iq level is very low and she doesn't she is not intelligent therefore i there is no meaning in discussing with them as this man said then i told him my dear friend this is one type of pride even if she doesn't understand and even if her iq level is low the lord wants you to discuss with with, uh, with your life partner everything that happens in your life anything that is connected to your family because you both are no more two but one god will give the wisdom to advise you even if she is not intelligent as you as the world thinks but god can give the wisdom to the least of the brethren least of the humble ones of this world remember in the book of daniel we know when susanna was in problem all the elite group and all the intellectuals were uh, gave, giving a trial and accusing certain people but there was only one small boy called daniel he spoke the wisdom god spoke through him and then everyone opened their eyes therefore god can speak through anyone therefore be open to everyone and be humble enough to share with your friend share with your husband share with your wife you will receive the blessings therefore no one should be in isolated islands we we are community we are in a social uh, uh, social human beings social beings therefore we should have that tendency we should have the desire to be humble in front of others and discuss with others wherever whatever that is supposed to be discussed so there are some people will say don't you know they they even dictate to others don't tell me what i do what i need to do i know even when they don't really know what they are supposed to do but they don't want to get the advice of anyone if someone gives a very valid ex- uh, advice they don't accept it just because they are advised they don't want to be advised by anyone there are some people they don't want any advice they they get disturbed about the advices because they want to go with their own, their own plans have you seen some children they don't like any advice from their parents and some parents are too much of advice and therefore children get dis- disturbed but even for the there are some people even for the valid advices good advices they don't want to listen to they get irritated because they have their own plans their own ideologies therefore remember this is very dangerous kind of pride the pride of independence such people they don't even listen to the word of god because they even evaluate the word of god as an object and they say these are all human beings written by human beings these are only human precepts i don't want to listen to it this is nonsense this doesn't uh, have any sense in it so that there are people who reject the word of god saying this has nothing inside none, no stuff in it so there are people who reject it and this is a clear sign of pride of independence and therefore we need to cry out to god and say lord i'm sorry for all these in such pride there is a possibility that we may go for disobedience disobedience to our husband and wife and there will be family problems if there is pride of independence because there is no sharing there is no we are not disclosing everything to our life partner and at the end when everything is in a big mess and only then the life partner will come to know and by then she will be shocked or he will be shocked and this is this is a very big problem for many families therefore let us pray in a special way so that let this pride of independence be taken away from our heart 
and let us be humble so that we will be able to share with our family members and even get advices from our friends there are so many experts who are ready to help you who are ready to advise you in the right time with the right advice we should be ready to listen to the advices and listening to the advices is a clear sign of humility therefore let us take a strong decision today lord i accept i understand understand that i don't have every wisdom and that is why god you have appointed a life partner for me to give me and support me wisdom you have appointed our spiritual fathers confessors our helpers our parents and our friends so that we may get the proper wisdom and we all should be connected to all these people and you have created us in such a way therefore we accept it we read like this in the word of god james chapter 4 verse 13 onwards come now you who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there doing business and making money some people say today and tomorrow we will go there and we will make business here we will make business there we will do some work there there are people who are planning their business and they decide their business without even knowing without even consulting with god without even praying about it they are so overconfident about their ability their talents they say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there and doing business and get take money we can easily go and get money from there we can easily get money from here and they have so overconfident verse 14 we read like this yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring what is your life for you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes you you, you even forget that tomorrow there will be tragedy tomorrow they may have some virus and lockdown tomorrow there will be a block and no vehicles can no planes can go nothing can work and all the shops will be closed and all the business may collapse tomorrow we may even fall sick tomorrow we may even die we don't know anything about tomorrow but still we have a big planning without god we have no dependency on god and we think we are independent we can decide on what what we want and we don't need anyone and we don't need god the lord says yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring what is your life for you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes we are only a mist just appears and vanishes mist in the morning and then within no time when the sun comes we just the mist disappears so verse 15 we read like this instead you ought to say instead of you know exalting yourself and say oh i will go there and do business within one year i will get money and i will pay off all these debts instead of saying like this you should say if the lord wishes we will leave and do this or that if the lord wishes if god wants if god allows we will leave and do this business if god wants if god gives me i will go there and i will do this business and i will do that if god wants if god helps you know that is sign of humility every time remembering god every time tells lord if you want if you allow when we when we make a statement like this saying if you allow if you want i will be able to do this if god permits i will be able to do this business if god allows i will be able to go there and work that is a clear sign of humility we need this humility my dear brothers and sisters let us cry for this humility we also read jeremiah chapter 35 verse 13 thus says the lord of hosts the God of Israel, go and say to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Can you not learn a lesson and obey my words? Says the Lord. The Lord says, You are obeying everyone else. You obey, you know, when, when there is a business, you obey your uh, business partner because you need money. Sometimes you obey your government because you need to survive otherwise there will be police case and all the other problems and then you will have big problem therefore you obey the law of the government law of the land you obey certain people whom you like you obey certain friends whom you have fallen in love with you obey all of them and the lord says can you not learn a lesson and obey my words how come you don't listen to my words and obey you think i don't need god and you are not bothered about listening to god verse 14 we read like this verse 14 the word of God says, The command has been carried out that Jonadab, son of Rechab, gave to his descendants to drink no wine, and they drink none to this day, for they have obeyed their ancestors' command. See, even some human beings, they obeyed their ancestors. Their ancestors, ancestors said like this, and therefore obey, they obeyed. How come you don't obey my words? Even human beings are obeying their ancestors' command. There are people who keep that family tradition 
certain traditions in their family certain traditions and certain certain cultures in certain family they are very obedient and they've gone speaking proudly about it oh this is our family culture this is our country culture and this is the culture of our society this is the culture of our country there are people who are so proud about it and they are so obedient to it certain evil culture and also good culture they keep it they they're very obedient to it i know there are some cultures in some countries even though it is evil they continue doing it for example dowry system dowry system in some countries bribery in some places and there, there are certain tradition or culture a wrong culture evil culture they continue it faithfully and they obey the lord says these people obey their ancestors and their traditions and their their cultures but when i command something they don't obey they don't take it as a culture they don't take it as a something to be obedient to let's read continue reading but i myself have spoken to you persistently and you have not obeyed me when there is some wrong cultures in your family you obey that but when i spoke to you persistently you have not obeyed me because i'm not important for you the lord says this is called the pride of independence i don't need god anymore i don't need god i can manage by myself let us pray for forgiveness in front of god and say lord i'm sorry lord yes i have money i have property i have family i have connections i have influence but i cannot do anything without you lord many a time i thought i can do many things without you i'm really sorry for those moments let's cry out to god and sing together asking for forgiveness from god the lord will help you let us worship god and sing together the lord is healing you right now let's cry out to god thank you father thank you for your love thank you for the support and healing right now thank you for stretching out your hand towards these people of god and healing everyone thank you abba nothing but the blood of jesus for my heart is easy nothing but the blood of jesus everybody stretch out your hand towards jesus the lord is consoling you the lord is helping you right now the blood of jesus is cleansing your mind cleansing you everything that is unholy in your mind the lord is cleansing you right now thank you abba father the lord is blessing a man who is helping and taking care of your old your father who is very old and bedridden and you are washing him giving him bath and taking care of every need of your father the lord is so happy to see you doing that god is blessing you in a special way and blessing you and your whole family thank you abba praise you abba father thank you lord thank you jesus abba have mercy thank you lord my dear brothers and sisters let us continue reflecting about the different types of pride another type of pride is pride of ambition desire to get rich money power position everything desire to get the best portion and when someone get else gets better portion or better money better job you get disturbed your own best friends your own colleagues when they are given importance and appreciation and given first place you get disturbed in your heart and angry with that person and stop talking to that person if you have this tendency it's a clear sign of pride of ambition i remember one person one family who came to us and said father we had a best friend we had a best friend we used to talk and chat everything everything was okay and we used to go to their house they used to come to our house one day we bought a very expensive car and we were so happy to share this joy with them and we all with this car went to their house and they were shocked they saw this such a expensive beautiful car that we bought we wanted to surprise them therefore we didn't tell them earlier and they saw this and then after that we came back after talking and everything we saw something was strange on their face but from that day they stopped talking to us they are not calling they are not relating and one day somehow i managed to speak to them and said what happened to you why are you not talking to us then he, that man said you have your own business i have my own business it's better we go with our own business we don't interfere in anyone's matter and then this man said father i was so hurt i don't know why he behaved like this and then one day he came to know from another friend that they were offended because they didn't 
this man did not tell them before he bought this expensive car it seems that is the worry that is the reason they are reacting but the true reason was they are so disturbed that this they got very good car but they did not have and they are waiting for a reason to get and show their anger and they're just holding on to some unnecessary argument sometimes it happens in our family in our own life when somebody else is getting better position better job even in the among the siblings when you divide the ancestral property your family property sometimes when someone one of you you know we all have grown very lovingly loving each other supporting each other but suddenly when your brother gets a better post portion a better land you get disturbed and you are even ready to go for a police case court case just to get a little piece of land there are people who go do like this the pride of ambition i don't want anyone to grow up more than me i want to be the highest i want to be the first i want to be the richest you don't mind somebody growing in america or africa or asia but you don't want someone grow in your neighborhood this is a clear sign of pride of ambition anyone who is becoming better than you you feel disturbed and restless anyone who become more famous than you you become restless and disturbed anyone who is more powerful than you you become restless and disturbed and you want to get that position remember this is a clear sign of pride of ambition it is very dangerous in such situation there is a possibility that we will start gossiping against others for example somebody is growing physically i mean uh, financially lots of job i mean lots of money and this and that then we start gossiping saying oh i think there is some immoral activities otherwise how can he get this money and i think there is some illegal activity otherwise how can he get this money we judge them wrongly without even any basis and foundation this is a clear sign we have pride of ambition that is why we are not happy about the growth and prosperity of someone else my dear brothers and sisters we need to examine our conscience and see do we have this pride of ambition if we have it is very dangerous we will never grow this pride of ambition is our biggest block no wonder they are growing no wonder we are not growing because this is our block this is our problem we need to repent about this we read like this proverbs chapter 27 verse 1 and 2 do not boast about tomorrow for you do not know what day what a day may bring let another praise you not your own mouth a stranger not your own lips sometimes in order to give get glory and praise we go on praising ourselves and degrading others because we want to get the fame and name we want to go on go on praising and boasting about ourselves and praising our, ourselves and we want others to praise us and degrade others this is dangerous the lord wants to tell us do not know what a day may bring tomorrow let another praise you if somebody praise you let them praise you don't be exalted let them do what they want to do but you not your own mouth a stranger may praise you but you don't praise yourself this is a block the lord says you know if you have the pride of ambition from your childhood sometimes the symptoms of pride of ambition can be shown seen among the children for example in your own home when food is kept there and some children they are so selfish and they take the best one or the more portions suppose the chocolates or sweets or something they want more and they they don't even think of their brother or sister who are younger to them they don't even care they want to take everything and they want to get the best and bigger portion and that is a clear sign that this a small symptom a small sign of pride of ambition is growing inside of them we need to correct them and say let others take everything you just take one small piece and we should show we should show in our own way and the parents and everyone we should show our children how to help others to grow and even without even sacrificing our own desire even sacrificing our own desire help everyone else to grow we need to teach our children otherwise these small tendencies will slowly grow grow at the end they will become so selfish and they want to grasp everything even at the cost of hurting their own siblings there are many families are divided because of this reason many families are fighting with each other the siblings are fighting with each other in the name of money property and all these things they are not considering their relationship more valuable than the property they think the property is more value than their relationship relationship between them and relationship with god this is called the pride of ambition this pride of ambition those who have the pride of ambition will never grow though they seems to be growing it won't last therefore let us cry out to god and say lord i'm sorry all we do is not for god's glory but for our glory when we do have the pride of ambition let's read luke chapter 14 verse 7 luke chapter 14 verse 7 
we read like this when he noticed how the guest chose the places of honor he told them a parable when jesus noticed there are some guest when they come they are running for the best place they are choosing the right the most important place everyone is busy want to be noticed by everyone everyone is busy to get the best place jesus noticed how the guest chose the places of honor he told them a parable verse 8 when you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet do not sit down at the place of honor in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host verse 9 and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you give this person your place and then in disgrace you would start to take the lowest place verse 10 but when you are invited go and sit down at the lowest place so that when your host comes he may say to you friend move up higher then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you verse 11 for all who exalt themselves will be humbled on those who those who humble themselves will be exalted never again exalt ourselves be humbled be humble those who humble themselves those who are ready to do any humble work ready to deny our own rights ready to help everyone grow ready to give up our rights and a position property ready to give that is when god will lift you up god will lift you and exalt you let us not exalt ourselves let god exalt us let's remember this we read luke chapter 11 verse 43 oh to you pharisees for you love to have the seat of honor in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces you want respect and honor oh to you all those who are thirsting for this respect and honor all those who think that i'm not honored i'm not respected i'm not exalted oh to you the lord says therefore if there is anyone who feels these kinds of feeling that you are not respected enough you are not honored enough and you feel everyone should respect you because you are a priest because you are a man of uh, dignity remember even everyone's dignity is same in front of god just because of your education you may not get a better dignity in front of god the dignity the prime minister or the king or the uh, the someone else has and the dignity a beggar has in front of god is same in front of god both of them are same therefore we have nothing to be so proud of just because we have lots of money human beings may honor us in a special way but at the same time for god we are all equal therefore be humble forget about our positions the lord will lift you up in due time let's read luke 20 verse 46 beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have the best seats in synagogues and places of honor at banquets there are people who are like this who wants to be honored respected lifted up and want to be addressed with very good names so these are the spirit of pride of ambition those who have the spirit of ambition they will always find fault in others oh you are all wrong and you are good for nothing if i was there i would have performed better if i was the superior i would have done well if i was in charge i would have done well and since you are doing you are doing way, way worst so we look them down we put, put them down it's a clear sign of pride of ambition let's cry out to god and say lord wash us clean in your precious blood we need this pride to be removed from us we want to be humble in the presence of god lord help us to be humble help us to exalt you before everyone and everything lord if there is some kind of pride of ambition in us that is the biggest block for our growth and prosperity and blessings lord we are so sorry cleanse us right now with your precious blood all these pride of ambitions and all these things that is affecting us be removed from our family removed from myself lord i want to be humble i don't want to be known to everyone anyone i just want to be known to you lord my good work my good things and everything that is in me is good that is from you lord that is because of you as a human being i'm the worst i'm a sinner i'm useless i'm good for nothing but you make me do everything it is you who are helping me to stand in front of the whole world we should have this attitude let us pray to god and say lord wash me with your precious blood nothing but the blood of jesus can cleanse us let's cry out to god my dear brothers and sisters another sign type of pride is pride of sensitiveness very sensitive characters for small small things get hurt and only we know the reason why we are hurt nobody will know because such a small reasons we get hurt are you easily getting hurt and are you show your reactions for even small small things not talking to them show your angry face 
and keeping a distance from them make them aware that you are angry through your behavior you make them feel that you uh, you are angry with them do you have this tendency that is called pride of sensitiveness we think it's a small small sensitive oh she is very sensitive character he is very sensitive character we say it is a sensitive but this sensitive sensitivity the basic root cause is pride because i feel strongly in my heart i should be honored i should be given respect when i make a phone call they should pick up my phone call sometimes i have seen many people sending messages i sent you so many messages and sometimes even just one message and then they get angry and say now i will never watch the live streaming because you did not read my message i remember sometime back since i got so many messages every day thousands of messages sometimes we don't get time to read everything and one day i i happened to read a message which was sent some months before and i read it only recently and in the message the person had sent one message and i did not see it for many days and then the last message was this and from now on i will not watch your program i will stop all the live streaming and i will and this is enough and this is too much and then close down and i happened to read it only after so many months and then i sent a message i'm really sorry i didn't see the message i only saw it now and no response so sometimes this is how many people we are so sensitive we don't even realize the position of the other person how maybe that person may be very busy maybe the other person may have many reasons why they don't read our messages they don't have time to listen maybe because there are so many things to do we don't justify others we only justify ourselves we say everyone is supposed to open my message everyone is supposed to take my mobile for mobile call and everyone is supposed to greet me and everyone should have time for me i remember some time back one person uh, th uh, this lockdown after the the live streaming started so practically every day i was busy with preparing the talks for the next day each day we have to prepare because all whatever i have prepared all these years from the seminary time onwards everything is already finished already preached and it is available in the youtube so we can't go on preaching the same things sometimes we we, we may repeat it because uh, it is needed for the new people who joins but at the same time many talks are already uh, almost all the talks are over. so we need to prepare every day because this is every day ongoing live streaming so we may have to prepare each day so so much uh, work is uh, involved not only the live streaming but also under my roof and um, uh, so many almost 15 online ministries going on so one day one person uh, made a, 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 a phone call here but uh, we could not uh, take the phone call and and later in a meeting later when i was doing some uh, bible study or something uh, online and that person somehow managed to get through that zoom and in front of everyone asked father i tried to contact you through the phone and none of nobody was picking up you should have time for the people of god so this is the comment that person made you should have time for the people of god so i was wondering how come they think like this because uh, almost all my time was uh, for the people of god preparing the preaching all the online ministries everything was picked for the people of god but I understood this is a sensitiveness and we need to pray for those people we may, we need to pray and un understand the situation and i told that sister don't worry sister now at least now we are talking you can tell me what you want to speak don't worry but my dear brothers and sisters we need to understand this sensitiveness those who have pride of sensitiveness they never think of the other person they only think about themselves they say i i called they did not pick up now i will never speak i sent a message they never responded so i will never speak and i greeted them they did not greet me back i will never accept this so for small 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 things getting hurt and cutting off relationships this is called pride of sensitiveness this is very dangerous and it may affect our relationship with everyone even our relationship with god because we are creating enemies of enemies we don't care for others we are only caring our desire let's examine our conscience and see do we have this pride of sensitiveness we call it just oh he's very sensitive person but that is not the uh, sin this sensitiveness is coming from pride because we are given more importance let us ask forgiveness from god for this those who have this kind of uh, things if we are getting easily hurt easily hurt the other day sometime back uh, some days work one person sent me an email and the email says father i'm very hurt and then i i was wondering what they were hurt by and said you watch me through the tv through the online services and you know what is happening in our family and you are preaching exactly everything that is happening in our family you are preaching it publicly i'm so hurt 
so they think we are watching through the tv and everything that is preached is about them and somebody is dictating or someone is working as a spy so they get hurt and there's and getting angry so the small small things even for unnecessary or unreasonable things getting hurt is a clear sign of pride of sensitiveness let us beg for forgiveness from god uh, for all these uh, pride of sensitiveness that we have and say lord i'm sorry i'm sorry for all these things and let's read jeremiah chapter 13 verse 15 onwards hear and give ear do not be haughty for the lord has spoken verse 16 give glory to the lord your god before he brings darkness before your feet stumble on mountains at twilight while you look for light he turns it into gloom and makes it deep darkness so give glory to the lord your god before he brings darkness before your feet stumble on the mountains at twilight while we look for light he turns into gloom my dear brothers and sisters don't take every glory for ourselves don't be so selfish about ourselves let us give glory for god if we are not appreciated if our phone call is not taken don't worry if god wants it will happen if god wants he will do everything for us we don't need to depend on any priest we don't need to run after any priest or any human being our god is capable of helping you just humble yourself in front of god he will help you he will lift you up in due time and the lord is going to help you the lord says before the darkness comes to your family comes to your life give all glory to god for everything that god does give glory to god before darkness comes before crisis comes to your family your personal life give glory to god the lord is going to bless you let's read verse 17 the word of god says very clearly but if you will not listen my soul will weep in secret for your pride see if you don't give glory to God, that is a spirit of pride. If you will not listen, my soul will weep in secret for your pride. My eyes will weep bitterly and run down with tears because the Lord's flock has been taken captive. The Lord says, if you don't listen to me, if you give, if you not give glory to God for every good thing the Lord has done in your life, but if you are taking credit for yourself for everything that happens, then my soul will weep in secret for your pride. Let's cry out to God and say, Lord, let the blood of Jesus cleanse each and every one of us. Or the blood of Jesus wash everybody and sprinkle upon all these people of God and cleanse everyone from all the evil affliction, especially the spirit of pride that is affecting us. Lord is going to cleanse each and every one of you. The Lord is going to heal you right now. Let's also reflect about another pride. Another type of pride is called pride of timidity, fear of others' opinion. Too much worried about what others will think of me, what others will feel about me and others comments worried about others comments if someone speak against you you, are, you will be very disturbed if someone uh, finds your mistake you will be very disturbed and very hurt and you feel your image will collapse your whole world will collapse because you have already exalted yourself so much and therefore you can't afford to go through a humiliating experience and your image should not never be tarnished so this is something that is affecting many people are you worried too much about your image there are people who never take their father or mother to, with their friends, to their friends because they are worried because their father is not good looking, mother is not good looking so they don't want to parade or show their parents in front of their classmates or friends or others and sometimes some people they do not want to invite others to their home because their home is small or not so up to the standard so therefore they are ashamed because they are worried about the opinion of others and sometimes some people they don't want to speak about anything that is private this, uh, they are worried that we will be humiliated, we will be disturbed when the others come to know about myself, about my uh, uh, certain things that I possess. So there are people who are too much worried, those who have pride of uh, these kinds of pride, the uh, pride of timidity. They will be controlled by the spirit of fear. There is a fear that is always driving them because fear of being caught, fear of being humiliated, fear of being insulted, fear of being abandoned. Sometimes even your friends may be doing something wrong but you are afraid to tell them what is wrong and right because you are afraid that you will lose the connection, lose your friendship. So therefore, even if they do something wrong, you keep quiet. There are many parents, when their children do something mischievous, they don't correct their children because they feel, if I correct, my child will be angry with me. I will lose the love of my child. My dear brothers and sisters, that is dangerous. The correction should be given. When they do something wrong, we have to tell them, this is wrong, this should never be done. We have to, sometimes we have to tell them sternly because according to the gravity of the mistake, we have to be very strict with them because they don't know many things. Therefore, we should correct them. Sometimes all the corrections are given by either mother or father. 
the other person doesn't want to correct when it is correction comes husband says you correct or wife says you correct and they are washing their hands because they don't want to be uh, rejected they don't want to be rejected by their child they don't want to be in the wrong book of their child they want to be pleasing to their child therefore they never correct their children that is dangerous we are spoiling the ch child we are destroying the future of the child the lord wants us to be don't look for fame and name don't look for appreciation and pleasing whatever that we need to correct we need to do what is truth what is right we have to stand for we only need to please god only need to please god but at the same time do all the corrections with love and compassion the lord will help you you will never lose your image and whatever the image that you have god will protect what you don't have is need you cannot protect so therefore let us ask god lord help me to come out of this pride of timidity that is affecting me let us read romans chapter 1 verse 23 onwards and they exchanged the glory of the immortal god for images resembling a mortal human being or birds or four-footed animals or reptiles verse 24 therefore god gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity to the degrading of their bodies among themselves those who have the pride of timidity who are worried about the image of others and they will fall into wrong friendships wrong connections and being with them just to please them they will go into all kinds of dirty sins the sense of lust and they will degrade their bodies because they know it is wrong but they will keep quiet because they don't want to lose their friendships they don't want to lose the connections with their family i mean friendships so this is something very dangerous we need to repent if we have this pride of timidity and those who are uh, this fear of others opinion and unreasonable fear of others opinion whether others have a respect for us or not we always worry about these and we will compromise to get their respect we will compromise many things to get their respect. Even compromise the command of God to get their respect. Because we have pride of timidity. Let us ask forgiveness from God if we have this pride of timidity. And say, Lord, give me the humility to accept and rectify this pride of timidity. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Mighty brothers and sisters let's cry out to god and say lord have mercy on me forgive me right now from these kinds of pride of timidity and too much too much of worried about others opinion what others think of me lord i'm sorry let's cry out and sing together a blood of jesus sprinkle upon each and every one of us the precious blood of jesus is going to be sprinkled upon you or the blood of jesus and let's cry out and say lord sprinkle your precious blood upon all those who are attending this live streaming from around the world sprinkle the precious blood upon everyone and set everyone free now today we need this healing touch especially from this pride which is affecting us this pride which is influencing us we need to get out of this pride lord we cry out in front of you right now let's sing together glorify at the top of a voice and pray the lord is going to help you to come out of this pride my dear brothers and sisters we are going to receive the blessing of the blessed sacrament right now now let's kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing of our lord jesus somebody who has who wants to take a loan for something very important and you are working hard for this paperwork the lord is helping you to get this loan from the government from the bank the lord is helping you right now and somebody who has uh, who is become very gloomy and sad suddenly and all family members are worried about that person in your family who is very sorrowful and disturbed no more laughing no more rejoicing no more happy and you're worried about that person the lord is healing that person and delivering that person you will be filled with joy and happiness right now the lord is blessing that person the lord is blessing many people right now someone who has got a special work and is in, uh, starting from the evening you go for daily for this work and you have uh, you are fed up with this work and you have no option but you have to go and you're thirsting to get a, a, a different shift and you're praying for that different shift the lord is helping you right now thank you abba father how much you know these people and someone who has got allergic to certain perfumes and you are having some allergies and the lord is healing you right now the lord is blessing a person who has got lips problem and doctors have asked us to ask you to go for an operation 
and the Lord is helping you. Don't, don't worry about this and you can go for operation. The Lord is telling you right now. Thank you, Abba Father. Praise you, Abba Father. Repeat the name of Jesus, everybody. Repeat the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. And someone who has got problem in your lungs Jesus. and enlargements of the lungs, Jesus. the Lord is healing you completely. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Jesus. Abba, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on these people. Thank you, Jesus. Praise to Jesus. Jesus. Michael, the Lord is blessing you right now. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Praise you, Father. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Stella, the Lord is blessing you right now. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Praise to Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Helen, the Lord is blessing you right now and he is healing you. Jesus. And someone who has got a rib cage problem and there is a Jesus. fracture on your rib, the Lord is healing you right now. Jesus. The Lord is blessing someone who has got uh, arthritis problem, joint pains, Jesus. the Lord is healing you right now. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Someone who has lost your voice suddenly Jesus. and the Lord is giving you back the voice, lost voice. Jesus. You are able to speak now. The Lord is blessing you right now. Jesus. Glenn, the Lord is blessing you right now. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Manisha, the Lord is blessing you right now. Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Praise you, Father. Jesus. And someone who has got stomach ulcer and ulcer and it is affecting you so badly and the Lord is healing you completely right now. And someone who is also doubting cancer, the Lord is releasing you from this. The Lord is healing you completely. And someone who has got a red dot on your eye, in your eyes, the Lord is healing you. The red dot is going to disappear soon. The Lord is blessing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Someone who is always hurting you as wife in the name of money, the Lord is asking you to stop it. The Lord hates these kind of reactions. The Lord says, uh, forgive and love your wife. The Lord will bless you mightily. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. And somebody, your whole family who is crying every day, practically every day, you are so sorrowful and crying and depressed. You don't feel like praying because of the death that happened in your family some weeks ago. The Lord is asking you, don't worry. Go on with your life. I will bless you. That person who is dead is with me. Do not worry. The Lord is wiping away the tears from your eyes. The Lord is consoling you right now. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Abba, have mercy on all these people of God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Master, mercy on us. Jesus, Master, mercy on us. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And elderly mother who is praying for your granddaughter with tears in front of this uh, live streaming. You are with tears, you are praying for your granddaughter who is in a very serious sickness. The Lord is hearing that prayer and blessing that daughter in a special way. The Lord is blessing. Thank you, Abba Father. Have mercy. Have mercy on all these people today, Lord. So, Corina, the Lord is blessing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Abba, have mercy on these people today, Lord. Set them free now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you. We praise you. We worship you. Jesus, we glorify you. We thank you. We praise you, Abba Father. All glory to you, Abba Father. All praises to you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody who is trapped in another country and you are also going through a police case and court case and you are not able to go abroad, go to your home country. The Lord is releasing you from this problem and you will be able to go for a journey and go back home and meet your family members. The Lord is helping you. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Praise you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. In communion with the Holy Father, Pope Francis, all the cardinals, all the bishops, all the priests, all the religious, all the missionaries around the world, we bless and consecrate all these people of God right now in Jesus' name. Bless everyone right now. Cover them in your mantle. Protect them right now in the precious blood of Jesus. Let them all renewed. Let everyone be set free from all the spirit of pride. Let them be consoled in Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. sacraments most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine O sacraments most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine O sacraments most holy O sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine 